Hello everybody, yes, this is Santa because I'm using some footage from the vlogmas episode to show you this fuchsia sweater or vest. So I knitted this in 2022 and as you can see I didn't have enough yarn to finish the sleeves and it was quite short. It didn't fit me well around the neck and in the underarm. This is why I was not wearing this sweater almost at all. I wore it here and there just for the color so I decided in 2024 to re-knit it since I had the right yarn. So let's re-knit it. Okay, there she is, you guys. So, you can see here, I don't know if you can see actually, the increases are higher and here the increases continue all the way down. I did something, I messed up with the underarms, they're quite, I don't know, I don't know, they're pulling. And the neckline, this is what we're working with. This is what we're working with. I love the color. It's really warm. It's a little bit scratchy, but that's okay. I wear something underneath anyways. So I just need to, you know, correct these points and bada bing bada boom. I'm gonna have a fuchsia sweater for the next uh, winter season. Okay, you guys, full disclosure, I tried it once again with the back and the front and the front and the back to see maybe I get a better fit. No. There's some issue here and also the sleeves are like, are pulling me here. I need more freedom here and I need less freedom here. So I think I'm going to have to unravel the whole thing, give more freedom to the sleeves, cut. I don't need it that long. I would appreciate it. It would be even this short and deal, do something here. I don't know. I don't know. I messed up here. Well, I need to go and uh, do some measurements and some calculations and to do a cast on. Happy face! You guys, another idea. I love everything down, down, from middle down, right? I love the length. I like it like this. How about I cut it? Like I stick it. How do you call it? I cut it. And then I just continue up because only this part bothers me. I am not in the mood of re-knitting once again an entire sweater. When this part is perfectly fine, it's just stocky net. What do we think? What do we think? Can I cut it though? Like from the underarm and just like pick up the stitches and work it up? I don't know. I think I need coffee. I need, I need to think about it. <laughs> I'll check back in later. I don't know who decided on Saturday morning to cut trees, but here we go. Somebody's cutting trees, you guys. And in the meantime, I'm trying to cut this fuchsia sweater. There she is. So I tried it on once again and I decided maybe it would be a good idea to cut it and then to work this way up to do the decreases, the shoulders, the neck and everything. Because look, I'm... I'm reusing such a big part of the sweater. I love this part. So now the challenge is, I think I went in straight line, but then these two didn't meet. So one is higher and one is lower. I don't know why. So now I'm gonna try and stick it um, to see if I can, uh, you know, continue working bottom up. And just do like uh, raglan decreases and so on and so on. You might be wondering how the sticking is going. Well, it was going really well until I discovered that somewhere here I picked up the stitches one row lower than what I cut. So then I decided to go to the other side and then continue with this one. So I pick up the stitches on the lower side and then I just pull and oh, hold on. Okay, you guys, now I have two pieces. I managed to separate it very well. I only have this yarn, which I unraveled after I cut the cord. Oh my God, I'm loving it. So all I need to do is start working up, uh, doing the de raglan decreases, splitting for sleeves and all that jazz. But I'm really happy. It only took a few minutes. 
but of course a lot of stress. <laughs> Happy knitting and I'll check in with you in the next one. I moved on the bed because my dog needed to have some sleep and my cat joined us. But this is the progress I made thus far. I cast it on for the sleeves, uh, 46 stitches. And I already started the 2x2 two two ribbing pattern. And I started the decreases, 2 decreases from the sleeve, 2 knit, and then 2 decreases, I mean 2 knitted together as a decrease for the raglan. So I will go and try it on right now and see if I need to add more stitches to the sleeve because remember when I tried it on before, um, I mean, I mean this part, uh, the stitches here felt quite a little tight so I decided to, I think they were like 38 and I increased it to 46. But I'll keep this here because I'm reusing the yarn. I'm not gonna just crank open the new skeins of yarn if I have this. So that's the progress thus far. I'm enjoying my Sunday and I'll catch back with you later. You guys, it's still the same day. I've been knitting all Sunday and this is what I have thus far. I did, sorry, that's my cat Nikita. I did the increases uh, to this side and to this side and I left two uh, knitted rows like this beautiful and I think I want to make a collar here I don't want to make it okay maybe I'll do a few more rows and then I'll just pop the collar something like this hold on something like this yeah I love it this far Another check-in because look at all the progress that I've made. Oh my god, it's only been a few days, but it was a pleasure to knit. So the increase the decreases on the raglan went so smoothly, and I'm now working on this collar. I want to make it quite a tall one and then to fold it like this. Okay, that is all going smooth and nice. My worry is the sleeves. Like I don't know how to pick up stitches because the V's go downward but if I pick up stitches the V's are going to go in the opposite direction I don't know I've never picked up stitches from a cast on to make it identical to knits two pearls but we'll see if it doesn't work I'm thinking to pick up stitches from the inside and to continue the sleeves like this and to have this as like um as like um like this like um like an I don't know, an accessory and like a small wind, wing. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying, but I don't know what to do because the sleeves are just like worrying me. But I'll try to finish the neckline and then I'll start improvising something for these sleeves. Happy knitting. Okay, let's see how this neckline is going. Should I continue knitting up or is this okay? I want more. I want more. Now the, the sleeves are making me even more worried. What am I going to do with these sleeves? Okay, let's, let's finish the neckline first. And then I'll figure something out. There she is. More. More. It's so soft, you guys. I thought that it's, it's going to be prickly, but it is so soft. And... There she is. I have a collar, you guys. I love it. I did the surprisingly stretchy bind off. It's, it doesn't look as polished as I would have liked it, but it's okay. It's okay. I'm going to go and take a break and I'm going to try and figure out these sleeves. There she is. Happy knitting, everyone. Ta-da. You guys, I finished the neckline. What do we think? It's absolutely lovely. I made it a bit longer and so that I can fold it and cover and warm up my neck. Okay, that's all beautiful and lovely. Now, my worry is the sleeves. I've tried to pick up stitches. It was a disaster. It just looks like a deformity. I don't know what to do. 
So I'm thinking to fold it like this and pick up stitches underneath. So this will be lifted as a wing or maybe I need to take a break and do some research on the um, internet. So I think I'll do that. I'll do some research and I'll come back to it. But so far, so lovely. So with the crochet, I pulled inside of the sleeve and I picked up stitches and then I transferred the stitches on the needle. And now what do I do? I don't know what do I do. So I think I'm gonna start knitting an improvised sleeve. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's show you what I have thus far. So you can see here the line. Well, it's not that visible. Let me see. Yeah, it is. Okay, never mind. So this is where I picked up the stitches and I started working downwards. And every time I arrive to the sleeve, I pick up another stitch from these ones. Oh my God, I don't know what's gonna happen. What's gonna be the result of all of this? Don't ask me, I do not know. And I'm trying to do the same uh, to knit to pearl construction. So, okay, so far so peachy, I don't know, we'll see. I don't know what I'm doing, but somehow my sleeve is growing. I'm not connected all the way there yet, but you know, every time I do a row, I pick up another stitch and this is what I have thus far. Ooh, I'm gonna have like high, um, I'm gonna have like fake shoulders, like padded shoulders. Why did I decide to do that? I don't know, I don't know. I'm just gonna continue to see what will come of it. Okay, I have another update. I just finished all the yarn from the previous sweater. So now I had to pull the new yarn that it's been waiting for me to use it. There she is. I have acrylic yarn, which I ordered a, a few years ago from China when I first had this obsession of knitting with some locally bought mohair. I think this is Turkish mohair from Alize. So I will combine these two. And I'm working on the sleeve. This is where I introduced the sleeve. So I think I will go for a bell shaped, you know, the one that starts small and grows. Cause I have the yarn, might as well, you know, give it a little bit of volume. But this is what I have thus far. It is kind of short. I mean, it's kind of cropped. We'll see. If I'll have more yarn, I can always uh, do a, a longer ribbing and a longer neckline neck ribbing but this is what I have this far there is quite a storm outside and my dog is afraid so he's hiding but I've started the second sleeve you guys I picked up stitches and I want to work a little bit maybe down to my elbow and then I'll try it on again and I'll show you both sleeves because I uh, cast off on the first one I bind off and now I'm working on the second one I love it thus far I mean we'll see how it goes okay another short update so it's 1 a.m. but I was working on this second sleeve you know I was in the flow of things and then you guys mohair finished so I'm out of this plummy mohair Yesterday I was at the yarn shop to try to find some mohair and I couldn't because it's summer obviously they don't even have different colors mohair. I only bought like some cotton yarn but what can I do? I looked everywhere uh, for a sample and the sample had like just one meter of mohair which I just used up. So I'm thinking to unravel and reuse the yarn that I did for the neck ribbing. Uh, and I'll do the neck without mohair because mohair really bothers me at the neck anyways. So hopefully this neck ribbing will be enough to finish this sleeve because I need, I need a few centimeters to do the bell shape. Um, for the sleeve and after that I'll just do the neck and that will be all I hope so because this sweater is getting more and more complicated unnecessary complicated 
So let's try and use this, make a mohair less uh, neck ribbing and let's enjoy the view of this fuchsia sweater. And by the way, I just learned that it's not correct to say fuchsia, it's fuchsia. I mean, where does the C disappear? But anyways, fuchsia, fuchsia, fuchsia. So let me get on this and I'll probably I'll knit a little bit and then go to bed. But I still want to do it a little bit more this evening. So I'll check back with you when I'll have a full sleeve, hopefully. Guess who's excited? Guess who's excited? Me! So, I don't know if this is visible. Oh my god, is one sleeve longer than the other? No, basically I am at the same length with these sleeves. But my neck <laughs> disappeared. So I'm going to bind off and with the remaining yarn I have Hold on, I have one more skein right in this box. I have another 50 gram plus this kind of 10 or 20 grams. And I'm intending to make a big, chunky, very soft uh, neck, neck ribbing. So I'm so excited. Oh my God, it's impeccable. It's impeccable. I love it. It was worth the additional work it was definitely worth it and look at these long sleeves i can't believe i have such long hands <laughs> look at this beauty look at these pink colors fuchsia colors so anyways i am working on the neck ribbing and it's lovely to use these short cable needles i love them the only hard thing is that i need to pull the entire sweater and then twist it so that i can continue knitting in the round but whoever invented short cable needles is a genius i need to get me short cable needles in all sizes because it's great i can use them for all the neck ribbing and all the sleeves that i've been working on so i have a few rows i am very close to finishing this the remaining of this skein and i have one more unstarted skein of yarn of 50 grams and i think i'm just gonna work as until I finish it, probably. I'm not sure. Obviously, I'll measure it in the meantime. Happy knitting, everyone! Ta-da! Hello in the month of August. And I am filming during daytime, which is already a good progress. You guys, I pulled out this fuchsia sweater to see where I am at. So, the only thing I have left to do is to do the neck ribbing. And this is what I have thus far. I think you can tell the difference between the uh, thread with mohair and without, but at this point I don't really care and I can't do a lot of things because I am not able to find this shade of mohair, uh, this plummy mohair that I've been using in the past. So, my plans for today is to use up as much as possible, but it's not mandatory for me to use all this yarn. This is the last skein that I have, but uh, I just want to uh, knit. Um, I think I want it to fold once or twice. I want like a, a big, chunky, soft neckline neck ribbing so i will do that today and hopefully i will bind off so that i can put this sweater in my list of finished objects and then i don't know wait for september but september is very close because it's august already <laughs> happy knitting hold on let me give you a view you have here my coffee the sweater dog food dog my bag Oh, all the plants. Yes, I'm cleaning up all my dried and dead plants. So basically a big day for me. Okay, so let's see. Are you ready for the big reveal? Because I am. I've been working on this fuchsia sweater for so long. And there he is. Oh, there he is. Up. <laughs> so I am not sorry for making it this cropped because it will go wonderful on top of dresses. I can wear it with high-waisted jeans. The sleeve's kind of short, but 
this is the pre-blocked version. So if I'm going to block it, I assume that it will grow. So it's okay. The neck, very, very soft, very, very nice. Let me, so I did have more hair for the neck ribbing, which is fine by me because now it doesn't prick, it doesn't bother me and it will go wonderful with anything. I can, I can pop some pink lipstick and that's it. Or some earrings and ta-da! What do we think? What do we think? So that is all. If you made it this far, comment down below with a pink emoji, anything that shows up in your menu. And thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to catch up with you next time to see what else do I make or remake or just use all the beautiful yarn that I have in my yarn collection. That is all. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.